Hi everybody, Adam Savage here in my cave with a tool tip and it's a new Allen wrench. Uh, a couple of years ago, I covered the fact that I love these Bondhus T-handled Allen wrenches. And I mean, a portion of the reason I love them is because I kind of grew up with them. And these are the Allens that Jamie had in his shop when I first started working for him in the early 90s. Uh, and I used them all the way through Mythbusters. Um, they make, they're phenomenal for the amount of torque you can apply. And they're also all made of steel. So you end up getting this nice sort of soft, like kind of hammer. And you can tell that I use these a lot in that regard because like, that one's all worn away. And that's me using this tool as a hammer, which is pretty on brand. Um, I love the Bonhus T handles so much. I have a set here by the lathe so that I can just work on the lathe and reach up and grab what I need. I have that set that you saw by the mill there. There it is. And I have a set, I hope this isn't making it too ill, over here on the first order retrievable deck. Um, of mission critical stuff. And I use every one of these sets daily, recently. Uh, but so those sets are fantastic. They don't tend to go, well, they, they, their smallest size is 330 seconds. Uh, and I frequently work with smaller sizes. And I have actually uh, some tools for doing that. Um, this is a complete slate of Weeha screwdrivers. This is a Weeha, um, brand. And I, I love these. I've been using these for 35 years, different kinds. So there's nut drivers, Imperial, Allens, Metric, Allens, Flatheads, Phillips, and Torx. Um, I have them numbered so I don't lose them. We, uh, Jen Schachter cut this for me and even went and did this beautiful Weeha logo here. Um, and so when I need to get real small, like 1 16th of an inch, uh, I go with these, or I can go even smaller in the metric. This is uh, 0.7 millimeters, 28 thousandths. Um, that is very, very small. I think I used that on one of the pieces of the Hellboy Samaritan. So this is one style of Allen, and this is another style of Allen, and neither of these is very likely the Allen wrench that you know. You probably know this kind of Allen wrench. Um, there, that's your. That's probably your first Allen wrench because it was my first Allen wrench. And by the way, the most common Allen wrench you will get in your shop is absolutely the four or the five millimeter or the, uh, what is it? The quarter inch. Yeah, I, this drawer needs some serious love because things have gotten way out of hand in here. This is just a hot mess and a half. <sighs> there are reasons that Allen wrenches come in these different... That's the next tool tip. There are reasons that Allen wrenches come in these different form factors because uh, they each have their utility. Um, and the L handle is absolutely the most portable, uh, and they often come in holders that hold them all together. Well, recently I was in a shop and I'm afraid I must tell you, I can't remember whose shop it was in. I think it was somebody who traveled for work and did a lot of, um, did a lot of field work. And I'm always fascinated by tools for field work. Um, and I have a new favorite L-shaped Allen wrench. And shockingly, it's made by Weeha. Um, this is metric, this is imperial. These are beautiful. These are not just physically beautiful because frankly, the rainbow is gorgeous, but the specific colors of the rainbow chosen for the powder coating for these is, it just tells me that Somebody with some color sophistication chose these colors and I'm grateful to them for that. Um, almost all T, oh, excuse me, almost all L Allen wrenches are black or chrome. Yeah, they're all black or chrome. These, however, are powder coated. So they're not painted, they're powder coated. And powder coating is a thing where you 
Actually, I think you electrify or you create a negative charge and you blow this powder on it, seriously. Uh, and you can mask that powder, as you see they've done here and here. And then you bake it at an extremely high temperature. And that coating bakes onto the metal with great, with a high level of adhesion and also durability. Um, I think you can, I think you can scrape this off a little bit, but it's very tenacious. Yeah, you can scrape a powder coating off, but it's super, super tenacious, which is great because in the field, the last thing you wanna be doing is going through your toolbox looking for the one of these wrenches that is missing. And if there's one universal rule of Allen wrench holders, it is that there will always be one of the wrenches missing. Universal rule. Every single one of these is missing one of the wrenches. And my odds are, my the odds on favorite is that it's the wrench you need right now. So first of all, the colors mean that these show up really nicely at the bottom of your tool bag, whether your tool bag is black, which it shouldn't be, or white, which it should be. And you can order your white tool bag at adamsavage.com right now. Ask for the EDC one or two. We've got some new ones coming out over Christmas. Um, so the color makes it easier to find. Boy, does it make it clear that it's yours. And it gives you a memory factor to know colors associate with certain sizes. So if you like work with a piece of equipment on the regular, let's say you're a roadie and you're always putting together those LED walls, this means after a very short period of time, the colors embed in your head and you just reach for the orange. You don't even have to think about the size. All of that combines to make what I think is an absolutely stellar, wonderful upgrade to an ancient tool uh, that was in dire need of said upgrade. Um, as soon as I saw that these existed, I added uh, one each metric and imperial to my collection and um, they've already gotten a fair bit of use. Uh, and I am so happy to have these uh, in here in the cave. Um, I love telling you about the new tools I get. Thank you guys for joining me for this show and tell. I can't see, oh, there it is. They may have trouble with this in the edit because it looks like. <laughs> we'll see. I started recording like this and then I recorded like this. So the timer's over there. So the editors are gonna have to flip this 90, sorry. Josh or Joey or Norm, or whichever one of you is tack ta tackling this video. Thank you guys for joining me for this tool tip and I will see you next time. Uh, hey, if you have a uh, an upgrade for a tool that everyone has in their shop that uh, is worthy of note, uh, tell us in the, in the comments below. See you guys next time. Hey guys, Adam Savage from Tested here. If you've ever seen the six inch ruler in inches and centimeters on my forearm and wanted one of your own, but you didn't want it to be permanent, well, today's your lucky day. You can now buy temporary tattoos of my measuring stick, my measuring forearm uh, at tested-store.com. Comes like this, goes on in about 30 seconds with a little water. The instructions are on the back. It comes off with rubbing alcohol and hopefully it warms you up to the idea of permanently attaching a measuring device to your body because I use mine every single day.